All right, Jason, uh, here's my analysis of your golf swing. Not a whole lot I can tell you from this angle, but there are some things I could see that we could clean up. Uh, first things first, I can tell you your pelvis and your shoulders are very open to what your feet are. Uh, so that would be one of the first things. Let's square the pelvis and the shoulders up. Let this right arm sit a little bit more tucked. And with a driver, also throw in a little bit more right bend. So bend from that rib cage. Now here's the biggest issue in your golf swing. All of your weight is right here in your heels. So when your weight is in your heels, I'm gonna draw a line right here on your knees. What you'll notice is as you start to take the club back, this is all arm dominant, hence to why the arms are so disconnected. And that's because we're too close to it and we have weight on our heels most likely, so the arms are just working out in front of the chest. And now when you start trying to make a real turn to the top, we're gonna see these knees actually start coming forward. So that pressure is moving back into the balls of the feet. You got great arm structure up here. It's just when we have pressure moving towards our toes at the top and we're already too close to it, the only thing we're gonna be able to do is now take this left arm, pull it out in front of us. I mean, surprisingly, your arm structure is actually pretty good right here. But from here, the only thing you're gonna be able to see that you can do, like if we draw a line here on your head, is you're just gonna be able to stand up. So we can see pelvis is right underneath the core, back line is straight up and down, head's backed up and we don't have any rotation. And this is all due in part to our footwork. So what I would tell you is let's get, let's get the shoulders and the pelvis square. The feet could be minutely close, that's okay but we've got to get more of this weight here on the balls of your feet. So back up to where you can find the balls of your feet. And then from here, once you kind of get this takeaway, I would let this left arm start working in against your chest more. Like if you have a logo here on your chest, try and get your bicep to cover that up a little bit more. And then from there, we can start turning more from the pelvis, the rib cage, and the shoulder to create your backswing so it's not so much of a lift. Hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.